Hi everybody, welcome back. So this session is around formulas. So my first question is, do you know what a formula is? Do you mean in, in maths? Because like in maths it's like, uh, you know, it, it, it's, I don't know, it's like something plus something equals that or it's... Right, yes. I don't know if I'm not saying that right. But no, 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 it's exactly, you're giving me the process. Right. But what it sounds like you're telling me is like a rule, you're applying a rule to create yeah. a calculation. Okay, that's right. exactly, I know that's what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do, um, first of all, do you use formulas? I know you've told me what a formula is, but do any of you use formulas? What's your experience? Um, yeah, I, um, I use spreadsheets where they've already been set up for me though, so I just sort of watch stuff appear in boxes when okay. I type. Mm -hmm. All right, so you've seen them, but it's yeah, like yeah. how, why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, what's your experience, Ed? I always use a calculator. Was uh, that's company. enough for me. Um, that's why I wanted to go on a course to learn Excel. Somebody told me mm -hmm. it'd be better, so I thought I'd come here and have a look. Okay, great. Well, I want you to hold on to the whole thinking about calculators because that's a good grounding to help us start work with formulas. And what's your experience? Well, I, yeah, I use spreadsheets that are given to me, and also I do basic sums, but I know that I'm doing them wrong because. Basically, people have told me I'm doing them wrong. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll bring it right back for you, and then you can see how, and how you can correct them if, if you do something wrong. Oh, All right, good. Okay, this is a great place to start. So before we get into it, I'm just going to give you an idea of how we're going to run the session. So we're going to start off where we're going to work together to create a formula, and then you're going to have a time to have a go yourselves. And to reinforce what we've done, we'll have a recap and an exercise. And then we'll end with you seeing how well the session has gone for you and what you could take away um, to help you with your work or anywhere else. What was the first mathematics skill that you were taught at school? Be adding up. Adding up. Mm. So we'll come around here. It's three. Adding up. So addition. So excuse my spelling. <laughs> All right. Addition. And what was the symbol for addition? Plus. Plus. Yeah, plus. What was another mathematic? So you had addition, what else would you, did you have? Subtraction. Subtraction. And what was the symbol? A minus. A minus. Right there. What else? Uh, multiplication. 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 Oh, but it's a star in Excel, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Well done. Good. Why do you think it's a star in Excel? Um, X is a letter. Mm. That's right. It's a letter. And in calculations, it doesn't understand letters. So therefore, the X is replaced with a star. And what was the last one? Oh, division. Division. And what's the symbol for division? Ah, this is different on Excel as well, isn't it? It's like a forward slash. It's a forward yeah. slash. In maths originally, it's a line with a dot above and below. That's right. And I don't think there's a key for that on the keyboard, is there? Mm. No, I've uh, never noticed nope. it. <laughs> okay, no. so it's a forward slash. Yeah. All right, so those are the symbols that we use. Right, so shout us some numbers for me, please. Six. Six. <laughs> now, I'm going to take the top one. So it's going to be 6 plus 17. And I want to, I'm going to go back to what you were saying, Ed, that you use a calculator rather than Excel. Okay, to work out. So I'm going to take this down for a moment. And put it down. Yeah. And I want you to think about a calculator and how you would work out it was 6 plus 17. Shout out, everyone can shout out, what are the actual steps that you would take using a calculator to work out 6 plus 17? A 6. 6. Press plus. Plus. Plus 1, 7. 1, 7. Equals. 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 And then what happens? You get the total. Yeah, the answer. You get the answer. Okay, so then you'll get the answer. Now, the way that you would use a calculator is the same thinking, the same process as within Excel, except for 
we start with equals rather than end with equals. So if we start with equals, 6 plus 17, and then what do we click or press on to confirm we finished? Enter. Enter. Enter, and then we get our answer. And it's as simple and straightforward as that. Do you believe me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. <laughs> on your desktop, you have a spreadsheet ready, and it looks like this. So I want you to try this addition, 5 plus 2. And we're going to go through exactly how we did thinking about using a calculator. So equals, we always start with equals. Can anyone tell me why we start with equals, first of all? Is that, is that because if you, if you type anything else in Excel, we'll think it's the contents of the cell? Like if you type in a, a number, it will think it's that number, you know, it, it, uh -huh. it takes it like when you do it in words. Right, it's so close. It is about that. But to get clearer, it's um, equals tells Excel you're going to do a calculation. Right. Mm -hmm. It sets it up to know that's what's going to happen, what, that's what's coming. Okay. So every time we start off with the equals. Now on your screens, I'll keep walking around checking what cell do you need to be in in order to display the answer? The 5 plus 2. So the one under uh, column F. That's right. And can you see there's a red line yeah. around the cell. So can we all click onto that cell? F8. F8, to be exact. Thank you, yes. So what did we say we're going to start off with? Equals. Equals. So let's hit equals. And what number's next? If we're working out that first... Five. Uh-huh, so let's type in five. I want you to type five, okay? Do you put spaces? No spaces. Right. Great question. No spaces. And then plus, what number? Next? Two. Two. And what do you do to confirm? Enter. Did it work? Oh, yeah, okay. Did it work? Yes. Yes? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> okay. So how easy was that? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, very easy. Very easy. Yeah. Very straightforward. Yeah. Okay, let's test it. Let's now change the number five to eight and see what happens. Anything? Why has that happened? Nothing's happened. It should change it to 10, why is it not? That so should... why didn't it work? Um, because when you click on F8 again, yes. the formula appears in the bar at the top and it says equals 5 plus 2, so you need to change that 5 to an 8 in the actual result, is that okay. right? Okay, I'm going to do it on here, Okay. so we can see what it is that you're explaining. Yeah. So, we started off with equals, then we typed in 5 yep. plus 2, Enter. and that mm. gave us 7. Yeah, so when mm. you click on that 7 again, it appears up in the, uh, you, see, you see it's, uh, yeah. Okay. So does anyone know what this area is called? Uh, the ribbon? Is that the calculator? It's like the cal what are we working on? What's our session about? Formula. Right. Can you take your mouse and hover over that space oh, and tell me? Ah, cool. Formula. Okay. So you don't have to guess. That's what's beautiful about it. <laughs> so you don't have to guess. You just have to hover over um, areas. All right. So that's your formula bar. So you can see what's going on in the cell in the formula bar. Right. So tell me more. Um, well, yeah, if you wanted to make it A, you can yes. type what you want in, in column B, but yes. it's not going to change what's in column F until you physically type in an 8 into that box there. Right. Okay. So you have to actually change the 8 here yeah. rather than in here. Yeah. Okay. Can anyone else tell me? And that's exactly right. Has anyone else got another explanation? Why, when you changed B... The, 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 the thing here that it didn't mm. change that because you didn't we didn't refer to it at all exactly we just because that's just instructions at the moment that's it, exactly it has got no connection of what's going on so basically yeah. saying what you're saying yeah. is that in, really we need to just change it here yeah but in order for us to be able to change um, uh, and it reflect in the outcome we have to make a connection oh do you highlight it so you can, let's take you through okay. it. Let's take you through it. Let's start this again. 
So let's click on a cell that we want our answer to appear in. So let's make sure we click in there. Again, I'm going to refer back to your calculator. What do we all start off with? Equals. 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 So let's type in equals. Now, rather than typing, if you were using a calculator, what would you do? You'd push the You'd press six. You'd press, wouldn't you? Yeah. The number. So instead of typing in, because mm. you've now got eight, instead of typing in eight, we just click onto eight as if it was a calculator. So equals, and then click onto the number eight. What's happened? Oh. What's that? What's that mean in that square B8? What does that mean? Okay, what colour is it? Blue. Can you see anywhere else that's blue? Oh, it's, oh, it's transferred it into the answer. Okay, oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> so that B8 is in the cell yeah. that that number 8 came from, cool. and it's blue. Cool. Alright, so it's telling you where it's got the information from. Right. Now, unfortunately, we do have to type plus. Okay. So let's type the plus. So where is the second number sitting? Yeah, D, uh, D8. Okay, so can we click on that? Mm -hmm. That's red, is that okay? That's yeah. right, and then what do you do to confirm? Enter. Did it work for you guys? Yeah. Yeah, it worked. Good. Did it work for you, Ed? Yeah, it's 10. So now let's change the 2 to 6. And press enter. Yes. Ah. That's wicked. Did it work? Yes, it's updated. Yeah. Okay. That's, That's really cool. creating a formula. That's really cool. Straightforward? Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm going to ask you guys to have a little play around. And you've got some more there. Three more. See if you can do that yourselves. Mm -hmm. Have a go. And I'll walk around. Remember, what do you always start off with? Equals. There you go. Oh, straight through? Yes. That looks good. Thank you. That's really good. <laughs> I just found that you can do negative numbers as well. So it's, yeah, yeah. it's cool. And, and decimals. Yeah. Could yeah. you do that on a calculator? Um, yeah, but this yeah. is so much easier because you can just change one part of it. You haven't got to delete and start again. It's no, really exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And the whole point is that this is as easy as using a calculator. Mm -hmm. And what you do is just select the cells that you want. It's easier then, really, isn't it? It is. You just only have to change one little bit. Okay. Tell me, now that you've had a go, what benefits can you see of you doing, of using formulas in, at work or elsewhere in your personal life? It's going to save me time. If it, um, I won't have to update everything manually every time now. Right. Okay. Saves you time. Good job. What yeah, I use spreadsheets where someone else has created the formula and I, I thought it would be a lot more complex for some reason to just start from scratch but I can do this myself now I don't have to rely on my boss to keep creating them for me good right uh, I have numbers sometimes I use spreadsheets where the numbers are always changing so I really like the fact that you can refer to a cell mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than actually type in the number which means that I don't have to remember to update the formula if the number changes that's right you don't have to touch the formula at all all right no, it's really really good you guys done very well